the withdrawal of Russian troops from the territory of Ukraine and a complete cessation of hostilities is the sixth point of Volodymyr Zelensky's peace formula. Kyiv has already engaged in all possible legal mechanisms to stop the war. However, neither the UN General Assembly resolution nor the appeals of other international organizations and leaders of civilized countries nor the sanctions imposed on the aggressor have brought Russia to peace. As of today, we see that it is impossible using the platforms that exist, including the UN, to make any decision that the Russian Federation would agree to. Since both Russia and China are likely to veto any resolutions, and even if a resolution is passed, it absolutely does not guarantee that Russian Federation will implement it. Having lost almost 300,000 personnel, about 5,000 tanks, more than 800 MLRS systems, 20 ships and boats, and thousands of units of other military equipment in more than in a year and a half of full-scale warfare, Russia does not stop its aggression. At the same time, the State Duma is constantly tightening legislation against evaders, which means that the top military and political leadership of the aggressive country is ready to wage war literally until the last Russian citizen. We have a kind of desperate situation now, because Russia is a big 140 million Hamas with nuclear weapons and a huge territory. And there is no way of coercion as such. It is quite difficult to come up with one within the framework of existing international relations and international agreements. So on the one hand, we need to combine both military and political aspects, which is what we are doing now. On the other hand, for high-quality, sane negotiations, we need a different Russian government, at least one that is more adequately and realistically oriented. Therefore, the withdrawal of Russian troops from Ukrainian territories under the current Russian government is the task of the armed forces of Ukraine. Furthermore, from the point of view of international law, Ukraine is defending its own territories from unjustified military aggression and therefore has the right to use force. There are no legal grounds for the presence of Russian troops on the territory of Ukraine. Every single Russian soldier, all Russians, are on the territory of Ukraine illegally as occupiers, as aggressors, and the United Nations and a number of international organizations, international institutions, have already spoken out about this. The changes to the Russian constitution introduced last autumn also doesn't matter. Parts of Zaporizhia, Kherson, certain areas of Donetsk and Luhansk regions, as well as Crimea, are parts of Ukraine not only under Ukrainian law, but also according to all international recognized borders. All Russia can do with its constitution is it can use it, let's say, for direct purpose, somewhere in a toilet. Because nobody will pay attention to it. There will be no conflict here. We proceed from the resolutions that are already in place today that have been previously adopted. This is the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine within the internationally recognized borders as of 1991. In addition, the deoccupation of the right bank of the Kherson region has shown that dialogue with Russia can only be conducted using the language of force and statements by the Federation's top military and political leadership and propagandists that the occupied territories are forever with Russia are worthless. Reported by Dana Kolesnik, Larisa Zubenko, UTV News.